Hi everyone, Roy Neary from Data Spinners and TDG. Uh, in this video number 48, we are going to look at the split function, which might not be the sort of thing that you'd use over and over again, but actually I found it quite handy. So I'll show you how we can use this in this case above that you can see that I've managed to get a string which is separated uh, by a space and I've managed to split it into just one word. So we'll see how to do that. So we are, here we are in Power Apps and we can see that this was from a previous session using the user um, using the user function and it pulls out full name which is uh, which is a uh, well it is it just puts in whichever the name that you put in there so in this case it's uh, delimited by a space and what we need to do is we need to get the um, get Rory out here I'm not going to I'm not going to show you straight away I'm just literally going to build it up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that so we're going to put a label in um, in fact what I'll do is I'll copy and paste it so that we've got the same format in so what we're going to do is to split that and pull out the first name, which obviously is Rory in this case. So here's what we do. We're going to start by doing the split function, split user full name, comma, quote, space, quote, and then close the brackets. And that will return uh, to us a column with a uh, effectively two entries in which is Rory and another one uh, which is Neary so therefore it doesn't really know what to do. So what we need to do with that is we need to use the first function so we'll go first uh, open brackets and then we close the brackets and then do dot result and so that will go away and it will evaluate that and obviously we can do the same thing with there uh, by putting in last and that will obviously do the same thing it'll find the last um, there we are so I think that's quite useful I can see uh, an awful lot of cases where that's just a really nice and easy way of doing it because you don't need to use the office 365 users connector um, it's it's up to you really um, but you can see that split could be used in all sorts of ways which which don't relate to this at all so I hope you found this useful and I will uh, see you again sometime soon make sure you like and make sure you share it let's see if we can get myself further up the uh, up the charts um, see you again soon thanks bye